guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I am going to be painting. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I am going to be painting with the the colors you saw me mix up in the last video where I did the mixing video of the um, the Infinity pouring mediums, both with the bare infinity and then just the infinity i mixed up three colors i mixed up the the blue the red and then the gold so i thought well that'll be fun to just paint with them so i'll do two paintings today uh, one with each pouring medium mixed up with those colors so i want to paint let's go have some fun All right, before we get started i just wanted to show you the consistencies uh really quick this is the this these three right here are mixed up with the infinity just showing you the three to one and that is the pigment we mixed up. That is the the golden fluid we mixed up. Let me see if I can do this with my left hand so that it doesn't get in too much of the way. <laughs> Still working on it. Uh, and then this is the tube paint. So those are the consistencies. They're, they're nice, nice creamy thickness. All right. And then the three mixed up with the Bare Infinity Joe Sonia. The tube paint. Oops. Don't want to get off camera. This is the blue, the tube paint. And then... Here's the gold, the golden fluid gold, and then the pigment, the red, beautiful red pigment we mixed up. Those are all the consistencies, and they 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 feel, look and feel pretty consistent. These are a tad thicker because they have the bear in them, but I'm okay with it. We're gonna roll with it. So now we're gonna go paint. All right, the canvas is a seven by seven odd odd. Odd dimension, I know, but Target for some reason has seven by sevens, which I really like. They're not quite eight inch, they're not quite six inch, they're seven inch. <laughs> and the pillow I'm using for this one is going to be the Glidden Premium Eggshell. However, I've just run out in my 30 32 ounce container, so I and I don't have any more poured out, so I might have to switch over to my uh, Pittsburgh Ultra for the second piece. We'll just go with it. Let me spread this out just a tad. I'm going to leave some in case I need for the edges. A bit more in the middle. All right, I'm going to be using the Infinity Josonia first. So we're going to, I'm going to lay down the red first. I've never used this red, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Uh, you know what? Just a touch more. I love red. And oops. Bubble. Pop that bubble. Lay down the gold next. That should be good. And now the blue. Um, and just as a reminder, the red was the, and I'll have them in the front uh, or in the, the beginning of the video, there will be a snapshot of the three colors that I mixed up in the last video and also what we're using today. But the red is the Hot Cinnamon by Color Art. The gold was Golden Fluid. The Iridescent Deep Gold. And then this blue was Thalo Blue by Joe Sonia. And the cell activator I'm going to use is just my Amsterdam um, Oxide Black. Pop. 
to do what to do. I think that looks pretty good. Let's give that a go. I'll meet you over at the spinner box. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit more paint just to help it over the side. That was a bit too slow. I'm trying to spin slower. <laughs> That's funny. A bit too slow, Jody. Ooh, yeah. But uh, try not to whip it because I'm finding that uh, the paint is going down the sides a bit nicer if I don't whip it. And also it's spreading out a bit more evenly and I don't get the wiggles. Well, I don't, I don't usually get the wiggles with the infinity and the bare infinity a hair so and also as long as i take off enough paint so that's there's that too but let's just get this another it's still moving just a little in the middle this looks so cool <laughs> I would never put these colors really together. I, I originally, when I picked the colors, I just picked three random colors and, and then I decided, well, let's paint with them. And I'm like, oh no, I hope they turn out well. <laughs> it's not bad though. Let's see. It's still moving just a touch. my sides are covered I think I think we're good yeah we're good I'm gonna call this one done All right, this second piece is again on a seven by seven. I, I did one, I scraped it. I had to use my other pillow, the Pittsburgh Ultra. And because it's it's colder in my studio, it's it's a lot thicker and it didn't, it didn't work out well. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> uh, so I had to pour out some glid and I hope it's, I hope it's not too bubbly. We're gonna find out. So this is the, the Glidden Premium in the eggshell. Let's try this again. I think I'm going to do the same order. Mm. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to mix it up. <laughs> Let's mix it up. Why not? I am going to put down, this is the Golden Fluid, the Iridescent Deep Gold again. 
a little bit of that down. Alright. And then I'm going to do the blue next. And then I will put, then the blue is the, sorry, <laughs> is the, uh, the Joe Sonia Thalo blue. And then this is the, the Color Art Hot Cinnamon. That should be good. For the cell activator, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put down uh, the Amsterdam titanium white first, and then I'll add the oxide black. Just to mix it up a little bit more. I'm just going to put a little dot. sinking fast on me. to do um, gonna have like a there we go something like that right there and I want to kind of bring this down and through bring some more down and bring a little bit of white into there a little dark. There we go. Some of that might get spun off anyway, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Let me do something right there. Just like that. To break that up just a little. I'll just put that in there. I think that looks good. We're gonna go with that. I will meet you over at the spinner box. All right. I think I've got plenty of paint on there, so here's what that one looks like. Let's go with this. Whew. Yeah. That is cool. I really hate when you, <laughs> you love the composition early on, but you have to get more paint off, but that's all right. I like that I changed up the, uh, the layering and added the, the white cell activator. It made this piece, wow, it added a lot more dimension, especially right in here. And here too. Very sparkly. Let me see. Uh, I just need to get a little bit more paint off. 
We're going to call this guy done. Baby spin. All right. That's it. I don't want to do any more because I really love this here. And I've already taken enough of it off down just a little bit so I have it. I'm not sure the orientation yet. Oh, I like that. That's going to be the orientation, so I'm going to bring it up to the camera that way. Ooh, let's not flip it over, Jody. piece. So cool. All right, I'm going to get cleaned up and I'll bring you over for the flyovers. Yeah, here's the first piece. It's so pretty. <laughs> Again, I, I definitely, I, I wouldn't have just picked these colors to go together, but they make a nice piece. I love the peaks of the gold in there. So that's the first one. I'm curious to see how it dries. All right, here is the flyover, the second piece. Oh, I just love how this turned out. I love, it almost looks like the sky up here. And then down below, I'm not sure what. <laughs> I mean, it looks, it's, it's something. It's almost like a phoenix too, like over here. It's like his wings maybe. It's taking flight. I don't know, but it's some really cool, some real coolness going on here. And I love this gold that's in here. It'll be super sparkly. So there's the second one. And look at how different they are. Using the same colors, just different order. And then I added a little bit of white cell activator as well. So I am going to let these dry and I will be back with the dried results. I'll see you in a bit. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the two pieces you just saw me make. So the first one, and they both dried beautifully. This one was, it was a little bit darker because I added the black CA. But, I mean, that, that shine in there with the gold and the red is just beautiful. I'm definitely going to be resonating this to see how it comes out. And this one was the Infinity Josonia by itself. Uh, there was no bear in this one. And the cells stayed really nice. So there's that one. And now this one, this is the bear Josonia, the, the bear Infinity Josonia. Look at the, I mean, not only do you see the, the shimmer and the shine from the gold, but also the gloss, that's the bear. It's just gorgeous. I did get a little bit of squirreliness right in here. And that, I always get that with the bear. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And it can be one of two things. You're leaving too much paint on, which I'm very guilty of. And number two, I feel like there's a gloss aspect. If you have too much gloss in there, it'll kind of slip a little. And the bear is very glossy. And then if you add a little bit more of the Josonia, like you're thinning things out, it's it's kind of a balancing act, I feel like. So um, I've started with the two parts of the bear, one part of the Infinity and one part of the Josonia. But I encourage you, if, if maybe you want to do one part of the bear and one part of the Infinity or one part of the bear, two parts of the Infinity, just to have some of the bear in there, um, if you're seeing this, play around with your ratio. I get this sometimes and then other times I don't. So I have a feeling for me, it's leaving too much paint on. <laughs> but that's just something to think about if it's happening to you. But this, I mean, this bear, it just, you really don't, I mean, if you don't want to varnish, you don't have to. But I am going to resin because I've got the uh, the gold and that hot cinnamon pigment that were that was in there. So I want to, I want to resin both of these to see 
how they turn out. So that is the second piece. This now concludes <laughs> my infinity saga of all my testing and showing you the different pouring mediums that I've come up with. I absolutely love the infinity. It is a total game changer. I am going to use it going forward both by itself and with the bear. And I just can't stop gushing about it enough. <laughs> so I'm going to stop gushing and just start using. But I don't want that to detract you from any of the other pouring mediums that I have on my channel because they all work. They work all work beautifully and I love all of them but since I've just discovered this infinity it's kind of like a new toy <laughs> so I hope you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe and I will see you next time thanks so much for watching